Hi, this is actually take two of this video. I had to start over because I I don't have the strength to edit tonight. I, I've been helping Danny with his job. I'll tell you about that in a minute, but um, but the first time I recorded it, I think I gave too much personal information that I wasn't supposed to about the house. So um, I need to do this over. Uh, so I don't even remember everything I said, so I guess I'll just wing it again. I, I know I read a few comments of support and I'll go ahead and read those again in a minute. Um, but tonight I've been, uh, Danny's, Danny's very overwhelmed. Not only are we, you know, in this really scary and stressful home situation, but his work is very stressful right now. He's working on a Netflix movie or one that will be on Netflix and it's a Christmas movie. And this production has just been rough on everyone, the entire team, and not just Danny, not just the props, not just the the arts team and the and the directors and the I don't know what other teams there are, but every everyone like this is is a really tough one. And this happens once a year for him. Usually he'll he'll be on a project that is just runs him ragged. And of course, it has to be this one right now while both of our cars are broken down and we're about to lose our house and he's got a wife with severe mental and physical health issues and we have to be out very soon and um yeah so anyway so I was like what can I do for you <laughs> like let me help you with your job so he let me um cook for him they're filming a big breakfast scene so I just I made I think five dozen eggs scrambled eggs um and I made like probably I don't know 60 70 pieces of bacon um and I made two loaves of bread worth of toast um and then I also made some little gift tags from Santa and some uh, envelopes from Santa because he needed me, to, he needed my handwriting. So I did all of that. So, um, so that's why I'm not going to edit this tonight. I'm just going to talk and upload it. And that might be what you get every day. Um, maybe I'll just give you daily updates every day. Uh, maybe I'll start updating you on my eating disorder because maybe that will help me because I'm not, not doing w well with that. Um, uh, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, but um, this whole thing has been very, uh, you know, Danny's my rock and I'm trying to be his rock. And so I told him I'm taking on everything. Like, let me take care of all the stress of finding us a new home and applying for loans and doing everything. And again, or not again, I don't remember if I said this in the previous video or this one, crap, that's gonna be an issue. I might repeat myself, I'm sorry if I do, but I have so much help. I have the most supportive, wonderful, loving family, um, and a few people in particular in my family have just been so sweet and supportive and helping me learn things that I didn't know so that I could look into possibly getting a loan or whatever, all of the things. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. So I told Danny I would take on this entire thing myself because I knew that I have support and people teaching me things and helping me. So thank you to all of you out there. You know who you are, especially my family, Michelle, Mike, my brother, my mom, Laura, you guys have been so sweet and then all of my closest friends have been unbelievably helpful and you guys in the comments and everything have been so helpful in fact i'm going to read a couple of those comments right now and then i'll give you an update of what happened today or what i found out today i guess so let me find the ones i read before because they were really good i kind of just picked it random before but they ended up being great so i'm going to try and find those ones okay Mom Charisma 88 says I've been wa I've I've been watching you since you got your teeth pulled. Whoa, that's like 
old am I? When did I get my teeth pulled? Like five or six years ago? Anyway, um, I don't always agree with everything you do or say, but I love you as a human and believe in you. Thank you. Um, that old, the old adage, when one door closes, another one opens is very true. In the moment when you feel like it is closing on something you really want, I feel it, it feels hard to look towards the future with hope. But when that future comes and you realize why that door has, you realize why that door had to close and you get to be thankful for the new door that was open, it will always end up making sense. Just have faith that it is meant to, that what is meant to be will be. Thank you so much for that mom charisma 88. I appreciate that. And, um, just so you know, I do want to say on a positive note, yesterday I had, I think six or seven complete meltdowns and panic attacks. I filmed one of them for you. That's what you saw yesterday. You're welcome for that mess. Today, I think I only had three. I just thought that was worth noting. I'm very proud of myself. So anyway, <laughs> literally I had one. We went to the grocery store to get all that stuff for me to cook for Danny. And I had a panic attack in the grocery store and he had to make me go sit in the car and so I calmed down and sat in the car and then I went live in the car and we're talking to some of my closest friends and then I had another panic attack and then when I talked to my sister Michelle today before we went out to the grocery store I also had a panic attack with her um but I think that's it I think there were only three today so improvement and I'm really trying to We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, let me let me uh, read some more of these and then I'll tell you a little bit more about how today was for me. Because um, that's what this is going to be. Did I already say this this time or was it the last recording? I don't know. But this is how this might be for a little bit. Um, every day I'll just sit down here in the dark in my coat, which if you're wondering why I'm always wearing this coat, it is for pain. Um, it helps with my fibromyalgia, the warmth. And I don't know why it took me however many years I've had fibromyalgia to figure out that, yes, it makes me get really warm and hot, but man, it helps with my pain in my arms, in my back, my ribs. So it's very helpful to just throw on a coat and that really, really adds to, you know, everything else I do for it. So it's really good. Anyway, so this is my, but be what you're getting. I don't know if I'll ever film a planned video anytime soon, you know, so it's just going to be these vertical because sometimes I just feel vertical. So I'm just rambling. Okay. You get my point. Belle of Amorous said, Shani, I'm so sorry, my dearest. My heart is with you and breaking with you. I'm crying as I leave this message. I completely get it. I pray there's a window or door, or door that opens for you. This isn't just a place. It's your home. If I can offer any comfort, please know you're not alone, and there is a reason for this, though you might not see it now. One day you'll look back with the knowledge of why, for whatever reason. It seems it is time to move on. It hurts me to say this so much, Dang, I cried in the first take too. Ugh. Um, for whatever reason, it seems it is time to move on. It hurts me to say this so much because I know how I would feel. Please try to, please try to imagine a new home that is even better and more of a home than this one. I know that's, I know that's of little comfort for now. I'll sit with you, cry with you and pray with you. My heart is holding your hand. Much love and peace. Stay strong. You and Danny will come through this. I don't know how, but you will. Love always, Belle. Thank you, Belle. I really appreciate that. I didn't cry. That's good. I just can't breathe. See, improvement. 
Okay, um, let's see. Where's the other one that I found? There were all of these were so great. Literally every single comment. If I if I gave your comment a heart, that means that I read it and I appreciate it and I would respond to all of you, but I just don't have the mental capacity right now. So just know that I wanted to respond to every single one of you. I did respond to a couple, but just know that if I hearted your comment, that means I see it and I appreciate it more than you know right now. Um, there was one that I wanted to find that I didn't read on the last take, but that I read earlier today. And it just was really, I, I don't know, I just needed, it was kind of just straightforward and very blunt. And I needed it, you know? What's happening now? My Wi-Fi is going down? What's happening? Is my battery dying too? That's really great timing. Sorry, let me find it. How do I entertain you till I find it? I'm gonna have a mental breakdown every single night. No, I'm not. I'm gonna thrive and I'm gonna stay alive. Cause if I don't, then I will die. And I'm not ready to do that. So I'm just gonna keep trying to keep lying. Not lying. That's the only thing I could think of at the time. Let me start that again. So I'm gonna keep on trying and keep frying. Lots of spines. And hopefully I will not die until my time will come. Okay, this is just getting too dark now. Um, I'm just might have to edit out the space. I'm sorry. There's gonna be space for a minute. I'm really sorry. Hold on. I just really want to find this one because it did stand out to me big time and it was kind of like very blunt and it actually was very helpful. Um, <laughs> here it is. Okay, I love this comment. Okay, so this is from Connie Startley and I adore this comment, so thank you. This was funny and helpful and like, girl, get it together type thing. Okay, so she said, the scary part is moving everything and you know it. You're dreading it, but but, but your family are Mormons. Y'all will band together and get it done. <laughs> your home is anywhere you and Danny are. House hunting is going to be fun. All of the different possibilities and using your imagination to make something customized and and your own is going to be fun. Stop making this a death sentence. There are far greater battles you have overcome than a house. God is telling you not to let comfort and habits make you weak because you are strong. And this trial will show you that not only will you not break, but you will enjoy this new adventure because that's what it is. It's an adventure. It's not a bad, it's new and different. Have a little faith in yourself and in Christ, because my sweet love, Shani Banani, you have dozens of thousands of people across the globe that have faith in you right now. We are all just begging you to open them big, beautiful brown eyes and see what we see. I love you, and, you got, and you've got the hell out of this. No more fears and no more tears. Show yourself what, what you can do. I love that. Listen, I'm still going to show fears and tears, I guarantee, because... But I, it, it, I don't know. It did kind of put a pump in my pep in my step, and today, and that comment really did stick out to me. So thank you. But I really do appreciate every single comment. Um, basically, the update today is that my brother talked because my brother knows I get really anxious calling people that I don't talk to often. Like even calling him makes me anxious sometimes. So he kind of called my aunt for me and my our aunt is um a realtor and she's been a realtor for decades she knows what she's doing she knows what she's talking about and she basically said that with um danny's credit the way it is which is very low because we never built credit and no credit is bad credit um even we wouldn't qualify for 
the HOA loans, or there's another loan, but I forget what it's called. Um, so, I'm debating on if I should tell you guys how much the home is selling for. I feel like I should because um, you guys are my rock right now. My family and you guys are my rock. And you know everything I've already been going through this year for the most part. And you're about to know a little bit more. It's not going to get fun for a minute. And, um, let me think about that, actually. But just know that it is a large, overwhelming number, and we live in a gold mine, that's for sure. Apparently, we've been living in a gold mine this entire time. Anyway. Um, so it doesn't look like a loan is going to happen at all. Uh, nobody in our family can co-sign and I didn't ask everyone because I didn't want to. Um, even if I've been thinking about this all day, even if like my parents or somebody could co-sign for us, I don't know if I would be okay letting somebody co-sign on that amount. Um, it's crazy. So, um, don't worry, I already broke down about all of this earlier. I might cry again, but so far I'm doing pretty good in this video. I haven't cried yet, I don't think. But, um, I'm 99% sure we're moving. So, the 1% is only if these people that have offered that large amount of money to buy this place. If they want to re-rent it, then we can stay. However, we don't know how much they would charge for us to stay here. So if those two things happen where they decide to let us stay and rent, and if we can afford what they ask, we, we can afford to go up and rent from what we are now. But um, with my, my brother has been doing calculations, my, my sister-in-law, Laura, has been doing calculations and stuff, and it's sounding like our rent would be at least doubled, if not more, and that we cannot afford. So, unless it's the super wealthy person coming in, buying this property, and putting a buttload of money down as a down payment, then his mortgage payments are going to be high enough that he needs to charge us more. So, and that's most likely what's going to happen. So, Today has been me coming to terms with that, trying to anyway, um, trying to keep myself busy while by helping Danny today as much as I could, um, and looking for new places to live. And I've already been doing that. I've already been doing that for a few days now. Um, and uh, I found some really, really awesome places that I think would work great for us. Um, so now it's it'll just be a matter of if we get approved for those places and and the biggest stress right now is time and energy um to move so yeah i'm gonna break again i can feel it i think i need to end this actually so i'll let you guys know tomorrow let me think about if i should tell you the price what do you guys think i i don't know i don't know a lot about this I just don't want it to affect the owners because they've been so sweet and they feel so bad that there was a big, can I talk about that? There was a, mm, let's just say both us and them were very much screwed over and I really feel bad for them too and they feel bad for us too and so I wouldn't want to hurt their chances of selling, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Give me your opinion and then I'll think it through and maybe I'll tell you tomorrow in my update tomorrow. So, okay, I've talked enough. Sorry, this is really long tonight. Um, 
I love you guys. And I'm going to go because I'm going to start crying. I can feel it. Whew. Okay. I'm going to go eat my salad and watch Euphoria and go to bed. And then I will, t I will get up tomorrow and do more chores around the house and start packing up some things and I love you guys. Goodbye.